Welcome to Kingdom Keys, our Bible study, amen, our weekly Bible study, and I'm honored of God to be with you tonight, and I'm grateful tonight that we have an honored guest uh, with us, and I'm so excited about her coming and being on the line with us. We're going to just just talk, have chat time, just enjoy the Lord together and get in the Word together, and, and we pray for that God is going to do something uh, supernatural in the midst of us, amen. We believe in God for signs and wonders and miracles, amen, and I believe God will wants to do something um, supernatural on the line tonight. But before we go and before I bring our guests on, I would if you just take a moment and invite somebody, tell them the Kingdom Keys is on the line. Amen. Invite them. Let them know we're here. Um, you can uh, share the broadcast, tag and share with your friends. Amen. Tell them that we have um, the Kingdom Keys is on the line. Amen. And we're honored of God to be with us. I also want to remind you that we are here every Tuesday morning at 730 um, for prayer. But we come and we touch and agree in prayer every Tuesday morning and we bring you a word of encouragement and we touch and agree with you in the word of God, with the word of God. So we want to invite you to come and be back with us on Tuesday mornings as well. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm going to be go ahead and shift over and bring the woman of God on the line. Amen. I am so honored of God that she's with me tonight. Amen. And it's none other than prophet. Uh, Mary Pitts. Amen. Um, so let me bring her on. Give me one second. Good evening, woman of God. How are Good you? Good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, I am so honored to be with you on tonight. Amen. Amen. I'm grateful of the Lord. Amen. For you to be here as well. Amen. And I'm so honored because we met um, recently at a conference um, yeah. that was here in the city and and we just hit it off from day one amen and it yes, was a blessing. it was just a blessing being able just to talk and share uh, the word of god together and, and we're both teachers of the word and we both love god and uh but you are a prophet amen and i and i know that the prophet and the teacher we partner because there's the times when um the prophetic word will go out that people yeah. will understand what god is saying and that's right. where the teacher comes in and bring clarity and revelation to what the prophet is saying to the body of Christ. So I'm excited about what Amen. God is. And I am excited as well. <laughs> and I just want to say um, uh, greetings to our audience as well. And just thank God for each of you joining us tonight. And to like the woman of God say, make sure you share, invite someone. And so we're so blessed to be with you tonight. And truly, it was a divine connection uh, that God has joined us together. And I'm just so appreciative of this opportunity to be a blessing in whatever capacity the Lord will like to use us on tonight. We are just open to just that. Amen. Amen. Well, um, I know I know you, but I know our audience is that there are some of my friends that are friends and partners of Covenant Keys Ministry that haven't met you. So if you would just take a few minutes to share just a little bit about yourself and, and the ministry that you have, I really definitely want them to know about what you got going on right now. Yes, thank you so much. Um, uh, yes, I am Prophetess Mary Pitts. Um, I am born and raised in Gainesville, Florida. I am a Floridian. Um, however, moved from there um, uh, to Orlando, Florida, got married, was there about 22, 23 years. Wow. And uh, nine months ago, my husband and I just recently shifted to uh, the Greenville, Spartanburg, South Carolina uh, area. And so we're so blessed to be here. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, yes, I am called as a prophet to the nation. God spoke to me and began to say when I didn't even know what a prophet was. And so uh, you can um, 
connect with me through marypitslive.com. Uh, right now, woman of God, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a series on conversations that matter. Face it, you know, getting to the root of the root. And that's every Monday at 7 p.m. And so uh, we have traveled internationally from Africa, you know, uh, Trinidad, the, the UK, you know, and here in the States. And so wherever the Lord will send us, that's where we would be. And our focus is really about, um, I tell people I'm a purpose pusher. <laughs> and so I help you to identify that purpose, uh, mentor, develop you, and then create that platform for you to be used. Amen. Well, amen. That part does very well with what Covenant Keys does, because that's amen. what we, we teach about uh, learning and understanding the principles that are in the word of God that will yes. prepare you to walk in your purpose and live, uh, live your purpose, live your life on purpose. Amen. So amen. That's, that's powerful. That's powerful. Amen. So we tonight we are going to I had mentioned to Prophet Pitts that um, we have been doing us, I guess, for the last couple, two, three weeks, Prophet, we've been talking about prayer, but we've been talking about it in the last week or so about persevering in prayer. And we've been talking about um, um, not giving up, not counting yourself out. You know, right, right. Um, not, you know, not, not always stopping and starting, um, but being consistent and being steadfast mm -hmm. in prayer and being steadfast in your walk with God. Just, just stay in the course. Um, right. And that's something that I don't think we could ever stop, um, you know, teaching on or exalting because, you know, in the in with all the things that are going on in the world, there's mm -hmm. a lot of times that people just want to give up. Just, just it's like, Lord, this is too much. It's too right. much. I just want to give up. But it takes those that know their God right. to be yeah. consistent and to be uh, steadfast in him. And so tonight I just want us to, to just come together and talk more about that persevering in prayer and talking about also not counting yourself out. You know, God is a God that uh, that loves us. And he, mm -hmm. you know, Jesus gave us full access <laughs> to the throne mm -hmm. of God. He gave us full access to the presence of God. Well, we, can, we don't have to go in now by a priest. We don't have right. to have a priest to go right. in for us. We don't, have to, and we don't have to ask somebody, will you pray for us? We have access to the presence of God um, where we can go in and make our petitions known unto him. Amen. So I'm um, honored of God to do that. But let me ask you, before we get into real discussions, what have you seen in your ministry, um, ministering to others about prayer? What has been like you feel like the temperature of where we are in the body of Christ when it comes to a place of prayer? Uh, right now? Well, I, I believe that, you know, sometimes we're praying, but we're not believing what we say when we pray. And also it's very important to pray according to the will of God mm -hmm. and um, uh, to be uh, fully persuaded and confident and not stagger at the promise mm -hmm. of God. And um, I think the, the word that you said, so was perseverance and uh, not giving up and all of that because you can be praying because the length of time you've been praying concerning a thing, you can start getting weary mm -hmm. and start uh, uh, losing faith and confidence. And uh, one word that my husband often uses, convinced. We have to get to a place that we're actually convinced. And uh, uh, there's one thing that we must realize that God will never leave us nor forsake us, Amen. that he's with us. He's Emmanuel, meaning he yes. is with us yes. and not only just with us, he's in us. Yeah, that's what we have to understand. And I think a lot of times we have to have that paradigm shift uh, in our mind where yes. we begin to that. He's not coming to us, but he's coming out of us. Yes. And so we have to begin to realize that Christ in us, our hope of glory. Yes. And so we 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 have that, you know, come by here, Lord, or, or whatever, signifying that he's not here, that he has to come from somewhere. But you have to know that he's bones of my bones, flesh of my flesh, and he will never leave me. He will never forsake me under no circumstance. And so we look at, uh, uh, how long we've been going through this and how long this has been happening and oh my God and I'm or you know what I did yesterday or and we beat ourselves up and we're in condemnation but uh, you know Jesus didn't come to condemn us he no. didn't come to show us our down wrongness he came to show you uh, your uprightness who you are um, in him and you know him. I was just thinking about the scripture that you shared in uh, Psalms 34 
and 15 and 16. And it was talking about the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. Uh, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil to blot out their name from the earth. You know, and that was just so powerful, woman of God, because we have to realize that, yeah, we have to realize that in Psalms 34, 15, he said, the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. And so the Bible tells us that um, in 2 Corinthians 5 and 21, it says that for he hath made him to be sin for us, mm -hmm. who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Oh, that's Jesus. Yes. So our righteousness is as fifth rags, but and he was made sin for us. He took our place. And so when God looks at us, he looks at us through his son. And so you have to know that and know that truth because it's the truth that frees us. And I think some of us, uh, our prayers are or uh, don't seem like they affect, uh, affect effective. We're effective, or we see in our desired outcome because all these other things that we're thinking that you know how we see ourselves. But I just want our audience to know, woman of God, that you know it's with the righteousness of Him. You know, God looks at us; He sees right uh, righteousness through Christ. And so, Christ is not what Christ is doing or what He's going to do; it's what He has already done. Already done. It is finished. It's it a done deal. Yes, <clears throat> there's nothing else to be added to, it. and I think that's the missing piece. If you, if you honest, be honest with, you, that's a lot of people that haven't really accepted that, yeah. the, that what Jesus has done is a finished work. There's yeah, nothing yeah. to be added to it. He's done everything that needs to be done. Now we need to just be. We just right. need to walk in who He has called us to be, and that's where the struggle is. And I'm gonna have to, you know, I, I'm not afraid to <clears throat> touch on topics that maybe. Uh, others don't want to talk on but this is what has happened is that the religious uh, mindset has said there's something you got to do to work to gain this this is mm -hmm. not you know your mm -hmm. salvation is free but you got to work you got to toil you got to right. the things you got to do yeah there are things I got to do but the, the things that we got to do are not in the sense of making it happen we right. got to come into alignment the thing that we have to do is uh, receive what Jesus has done Right. And just walk in it. That's the thing that we have to do. And that's something that, you know, um, because of that wrong mindset. When you said that a minute ago, I was thinking back to what we just last week on the on our touch and degree prayer call, we mm -hmm. were talking about Romans um 12, 1 and 2. And that two it says, Don't be conformed to this, this world. world. This yes. world will be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And yeah. that, that transformation has to come. And that's where it has to start there is um, the Bible tells us out of all of our getting, get an understanding. And we have to, uh, in the word of God, where it says that through one man disobedience, we were all made what? Unrighteous. And that was through Adam. We didn't do anything, but we was made unrighteous. We um, uh, easily, and so to accept that and to receive that, right? And so we're so sin conscious and we receive that, but then it all say through another man's obedience, which is Jesus Christ, we were all made what righteous through him. And so we can receive and accept the first, but the latter is hard for us to receive and accept because it's how we suffer from low self-esteem and how we view ourselves and how we look at ourselves. And because of the, the our past and things that we're going through and things that have happened to us and all this pressure and all the different things that we have experienced in life and tragedies that we're looking looking out of dark eyes we're looking and Woo. that's why it's so significant yeah important, woman of god that we get a, it has to have a transformation of the mind when we have and you you think about it when jesus uh was walking the face of the earth his, his most message was to the religious set you know yeah. what i mean was telling yeah. them to repent in other words, to change, to turn, you know, it starts in our mind. Right. And that is so, um, so significant that we have to begin to realize that it's so many scriptures that talks about the transformation of the mind and how we think, you know, and changing our mindset and our thinking. And, you know, there's things that sound good, but it wasn't good for us. And when we get the truth, that's what frees us. You know, how many times have we have uh not so much told lies but how many lies have you believed right right exactly you know exactly. there's a scripture i just came to mind when you were saying that 
that about the being transforming the mind, it comes but it goes back to uh the word of God, how the word of God, when we receive the word, yes, that changes our minds. But there's a scripture that in Psalms 119, and it just came when you were saying that, I just it just came back to me. Psalms 119, 130 it says that entrance of your word gives light or gives right. revelation and it gives understanding to the simple. That's one thing that you we can't walk in wisdom and truth if you don't understand or have received the revelation that's in the word of God. Mm -hmm. You can't just be readers of the gospel. We got to be students of the word and understand what God is saying. Because once you have an understanding, I, I, I made this analogy in class one time when I was teaching a new converse class mm -hmm. and I was telling them that just like a rubber band, when you get a brand new rubber band out of a bag, mm -hmm. When you take that rubber band out and you stretch it beyond its borders, mm -hmm. it, it will it can never go back to its original size because it's now have experienced something right. that they, they they cannot forget it. And that's why it should be in the things of God. Once you have experienced God in a new and a fresh way, there's no yeah. way you can go back to doing something opposite of that because it, it, it's not possible. It's no way you can... There's no way that you can taste of the goodness of God. Amen. And that's one thing I, I remember where we met at, at that conference and Dr. Yes. Anya Hall was uh, ministry and she was talking about um, uh, knowing God. Mm -hmm. And when you say you know God, you experience God. Yes. And so a lot of times we say we know people, but we haven't experienced them. Yes. In other words, we know of people, certain people. I heard of them, Ooh. but I haven't had a relationship with them. I don't I don't know them like that. You know what I'm saying? I heard of their name. I seen them from know them from the surface. You know, I may see them on TV or heard them free, you know, but I don't have a relationship with them. Wow. And I think that some of us, we going on with grandma and mama and all of those, you yes. know, their relationship with the Lord. But I encourage our audience to ask yourself, do I really know him? Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is, you know, when Jesus said, uh, who do men say that I am? Then he made it personal. He said, who do you say that I am? In other words, do you have a relationship? How is your relationship with him? Or is your relationship is like he's he's water when you're thirsty, food when you're hungry, you know, hungry. And, and, and you know, he a doctor and he a lawyer in the courtroom. You know, it has to go. Uh, past that. We have to begin to realize that we are sons of God. The Bible yeah. says does not yet appear, but we know that we shall be like him. And so it's time for us to walk in our what true identity. You know, I often say I was born of a woman a few days and full of trouble, right? But I began to realize that I am born of spirit, one yeah. that can do all things. And so we have to get to a place that even in my uh, tragedy, even in my down times, even in times that I'm going through different things, woman of God, because I know him, because yeah. I have a relationship with him, I will not fret. I will not be dismayed. I will not back down. I will not give up a turnaround because I know that my God is a very present help in yeah. the time of trouble. Right. Yes. And so we have to begin to realize and, and, and question that, hey, how is my relationship with the Lord? Do I know him? And the only time we get to know each other. Right. We have to spend time. We living in a busy world and so many things and we trying to figure it out and trying to do it ourselves. But it's time for us uh, uh, to release it. Let it go. Allow Christ on the inside. He will lead and guide us. And he would be, he's right there with us. And he's bones of our bones. As a matter of fact, he's looking out of the windows of your eyes. <laughs> Glory to God. I often tell people, you know, what you need, I got it. Why do I say that? Because I got him. He's yeah. on the inside of me. I am yeah. the I am the very express. I am the expression Ooh, of him. Yes, God. Right? And so yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm getting excited. <laughs> yes. Me too. I'm th just a word, just to know that you are the express, what you said, the express image, image of God. him. Yeah. You know, when they see us, they see him. At least they do it because we have that relationship with him. We commune and when we pray, we were talking about prayer and when we're praying or when we're interceding, you know what I'm saying? We're not only just uh, listening, you know, telling God what we want, what we need and all this stuff, which he said he already know what we need before we ask. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, though, the Lord wakes me up, woman of God, like 
three o'clock in the morning. It's been that way for years, right? And so uh, getting up like I normally do to pray and to talk to the Lord and the Holy Spirit say, do you mind if I talk first this time? Amen. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So when I allowed the Holy Spirit just to speak, and he just began to download, just begin to reveal some things, begin to show, tell me some things that I needed and things that I needed to know. Tell me what I need to do and moves I need to make and what is, you know, and what he's saying now. And that is so important in our personal lives, as well as if we're apostles and prophets, we have to know what the spirit, what God is saying, not what he said, but Woo! what God is saying right now. Some yes. of us are walking in the past mind of God. We holding on to something what God said and got the move and i heard uh, uh something on social media one time that a pastor said that backsliding is also when god have moved and you still in that old place in that place yes my god you 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 said something i can't i can't leave it yet i want to say, <laughs> i can't leave it. it it when you when you talk about that, I'm getting, I'm stuttering now. Okay, well, you talked about a minute ago about the about the abiding in that place when you know Him and experience Him. Yes, the, it, it reminds you just like you, even when you know your parents, you know you know yes. your mom and your dad. When you have that relationship with them, nobody can tell you about your mama like right. you, like you know your, you know what I'm saying. Right. You know, you know you had an intimate relationship with her. <laughs> And there's no way in the world somebody can come and tell you something crazy about your mama because you've had that relationship. Right. That's the way it is with God. When you had that relationship with him and, it, and he is he has a track record with you and that you you see over and over the goodness of God. Oh, you can. know, persevering in prayer should not even be a struggle. But where yeah. the struggle comes in is that we have not had that experience with God. Mm. Um, there was a man of God, John Gray wow. was the one, really. Um, Pastor John Gray um, said this one time in one of his sermons. He said, we're treating God just like an alka seltzer. Drop, wow. drop. We drink it, get relief, and then we go on. Wow. You know, we just come and we get relief. We come get what we need from him, then we go and on. That's it. It. Right. And it's not, and that's not who God, that's not having a relationship with Instead God. Instead of continuing. Instead of continuing. That's it. Yeah, continuing. That is so uh, uh, awesome. And I remember the Lord saying to me is that um, I have gotten a lot of times, too, is we're allowing um, the packs how it once was to hinder from this new thing God wants. God told me I had I got traditional in my prayer. Wow. I was coming, want to do it the same way, same and that same feeling I used to get, how I used to move and everything. And so when he was shifting and it, it wasn't like that anymore, I start, okay, what's going on? What's wrong? What, you know, why, why is it, you know? And so you get discouraged and it don't seem like, you know, and so God was shifting me from um, uh, the breast. In other words, you're not going to be knowing me by feelings you know yeah. or be moved by feelings and and how you feel and because you feel me and feel the presence and so to our audience tonight you may not feel the presence of God or uh, your prayer life it has shifted it has changed and you're gonna have to shift and change with the change and not think that oh my god is something wrong with me uh my prayer's not like it used to be and you know what I'm saying because you're trying to go back you know a lot of times we say take me back to that place where I first received you we don't want to go back there that was an immature state right so right. now it's I'm, I'm in this mature I'm more in a a, a depth in the spirit and and begin to know god that even if i don't feel him i know he's present even if i don't see it even if i don't can't touch it or feel it or i think i know without a shadow of a doubt that he's there and so my where where is there he's on the inside of me right he's on the inside of me so a lot of times people will say back in the days like girl how do you go to that dead church you know what i mean i'm like because i got the resurrection power on the inside That's where I go, right because 
you have to realize who we have to realize who we are in Christ. In Christ. And I am saying to our audience tonight, be encouraged, be strengthened. Do not allow nothing or no one to hinder your prayer life. You may not experience it like it used to be, but you know what? That was the past. God is doing a new thing. He's taking you to a whole nother, and it's feel like you're starting over, but you're starting over in another dimension. All right. Yes. Another glory. The Bible says we change it from one glory to another. Yes. And you know what? I'm glad you mentioned that because you know when God there was a shift that even came in my life, and I've been praying, yes. believing God for many years. But God did something with us, even on here. We did it uh in in November of right. last year. We did our 40 days of, of biblical decorations. Oh wow. And the, when we did the 40 days of biblical decorations, what God told me before we did that, he said, I need you to raise your roar. I was like, Lord, what do you say? He said, I need you to raise your roar and begin to decree my word to the situations and things. And it was it was life changing when we, we came together mm -hmm. every day and just began to uh, raise our roar on different situations that maybe whatever the Lord gave us to, to decree. And as mm -hmm. we were decreeing the word of God, it, there was a definite shift in our lives because God began to see, look, when you come before the courts of heaven and begin to decree my word, he said, I honor my word. I esteem my word above my name. Y'all, we know God has an awesome name, but he yeah. said, bring me my word. I got to honor my word. Amen. And it was just powerful. We saw people's lives. We saw healings. We saw people that were uh, revived and people that were even um, restored in their relationship. We saw some powerful things happen in those 40 days of declaration. But what it did was it, like you said, it catapulted us. It, it pushed us forward and there's right. no way we can go back. And I'm, I'm, we have still been making those decrees and we still been, you know, releasing that word um, over our lives, but it, it really shifted us because we just had a, I got a revelation in, look, it's not a time to be timid. It's not a time to have your mouth closed. You need to raise your roar in the spirit. Wow, that is so powerful. That is awesome. I know that um, God began to show me that, hey, what you do see, secretly, I reward you. Open eyes, show yes. it in a, in a manifest. So in secret, in our closet, we spend that time with him. And when we go out our every day, we're not, Lord, if it's your will or what's your will. That Jesus didn't, you know, he, he he just knew. He just began to speak, you know. He began to speak and declare. He just, he said, I don't say, I only say what my father tell me to say. I only do what my father tell me to do. And you can, we can get to that place by spending time with the Lord mm -hmm. and begin to, uh, 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 in his presence, in his glory and, and, and all of that and not be so quick fix, you know what I mean? All the time in a hurry and, and putting other things before that. And I know when I don't pray, I'm just off. I I'm indecisive. Don't know what to do. Question everything, you know, doubt, try to creep in yeah. uh, girl, what you're doing and all that. But when I'm in focused and channeled in and, uh, Hey, and God began to speak to me. <laughs> My family say that. Said, "Ma, you don't, you don't back." I said, "Cause I know He said it." Yes, and that's one thing, um, teacher, right? That God began to say, and I was like, "Lord, if you said it, I uh, it. you know, I believe it, and I know it's gonna happen." And the Holy Spirit said, "I thought you knew I said it." Mm -mm. Are you said yeah? And so I'm like, "Okay, God." And so I get to a place that I know without a shadow of a doubt that I'm fully persuaded. I'm convinced. I know that God said it and he's speaking it and he began to say, it. I don't even think about it. I don't even question it. It's just that I know I'm saying what he's saying. I am him, right? I am him and he is manifesting his will through me. And so, you know, I can't, I don't belong to myself. We don't belong to ourselves. We can't do what we want to do when we get ready to do it. You know, a lot of times we go in prayer, woman of God, giving God our agenda. And someone sing a song, say, you got to let go of your agenda, mm -hmm. right? We come before God with our agenda and we want him to bless us with our, bless our agenda and our way and what we want to do and how we want to do it and when we want to do it. Instead of coming before God empty, it's like, Lord, you're not my will. But your will be done in this earth, right? This earth right here, right? Your will be done in here because God is spirit. 
and we are the vehicles in which he want to use in order to manifest yes. himself in the earth realm. Yes. And you know what? Things we living in a great and dreadful day, mm -hmm. right? Things are not, we want God just to rid of everything and get, no, right in the midst of whatever we're going through, God will provide. He will sustain you. He will keep you. He will protect you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right in the midst of the fire. And so, no, God didn't uh, put the fire out. He didn't take the fire out of the fire. No, God didn't. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you that nothing comes and nothing happening that God is not aware of. Amen. Well, woman of God, I'm so I'm so honored of the Lord that you're with me and we're sharing these words of, of life. And I pray tonight that you're not just on here watching us have a discussion, but that you're hearing the nuggets that the Lord is, is giving us and being able to share that word with us and then begin to be receive the word. Tonight, we're going to uh, shift in just a few minutes, prophet. Uh, we're going to begin to pray and to decree the word of the, God, yes. the Lord over your lives. And as we are doing this, we want you to understand that God is concerned about his people. And he's, he loves you. The Bible, the scripture that we um, we we had up this morning, I mean, this, this evening, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I normally do morning. So it gets, <laughs> so I come out the shift that I remind myself, girl, you're not in the morning. You're morning in the evening. <laughs> okay, you're not in the morning. But um, the scripture that we were sharing uh, tonight in Psalms, when it says the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. Yes. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. You may think that you're by yourself. You may think that nobody sees you, but I want you to know tonight that your father sees you. He yes. sees you. And the Bible says the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and not just his eyes, but the scripture says his ear is attentive wow. to your cry. Right. Now you now we're mothers. Those of you that are mothers on the line, you know when you can be, it can be a yard full of children, but when your yes. baby cries, you know your baby's cry. My, my granddaughter was over here earlier, and and when when she made a sound, I knew it was my little harmony. <laughs> I knew it was her because hey, well, she has a certain sound. Come on, there's a certain sound, and yeah. our Father knows our cry. And He yeah. says, "But the face of the Lord is against those that do evil." And to blot out their names. But let me go a little further. Let me let me show you what it says in the in the Message Bible, Prophet. It says God keeps an eye on His friends, friends. and His ears pick up every moan and, and groan. God won't put up with rebel re rebels. He will cut them from the path. Is anyone crying for help? God is listening. And not just listening, he's ready yeah. to rescue. He is ready to perform his word in your life. I don't know what you are going through on the on the line tonight, but we want you to know that God hears the uh, prayer, the, the cries of the righteous. And yeah. we're going to touch and agree with you today that you're going to come up out of that place of not just... Um, hoping and wishing that God hears you, but you're going to come with an assurance today. We're going to believe God with you that you'll have an assurance that God is going to answer your prayer and that you will have a changed mindset when it comes to your father, that you will go a, a deeper, that you will have a deeper relationship with him, that you will uh, that you desire to come closer, to have a, an experience in the presence of God. That's, yeah. that's, look, when you had that experience, there's no way that anybody can tell you anything crazy Thank about you your father. Away from you. They can't take that away from you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, old people used to say that the joy that I had, the world didn't give it. And the and world, the world can't can't take it away. Amen. It's the same thing in the realm of the spirit when it comes to experiencing God. When you're in it, the world didn't give you that experience. It, you got that experience from being in his presence and the world can't take that from you. Amen. So we're going to mm -hmm. touch and agree and pray with them in just a few minutes. But as, before we do that, prophet, is there anything else that you have on your heart that you want to share uh, with them before we go into prayer? Well, I just love that scripture that you just uh, shine so much insight and light on that the eyes of the Lord, he's there. And the thing about it, his ears are attentive to his cry. And the thing about it is, that's so important to know because a lot of times we don't thank God 
is hearing us or we don't think that, you know, whatever, you know, how you look down on yourself, what, let everything go, let it go. Your past, what you did yesterday, what you did five minutes ago or whatever, repent of it. If that's going to handle you, whatever. I want you to know if you cry unto him, he hears your cry. And, and so a lot of times the enemy just don't want you to cry. Don't want you to say anything, try to keep your mouth shut because you feel like he's don't, he's not hearing you. But as teacher Wright was saying, he hears us when we pray. Matter of fact, he know what you need. Before you need it. So come, that's why we could come boldly to the throne. Amen. You know, yeah. Boldly to the throne. There's another scripture I wanted to share right quick. Um, it's in it's Isaiah chapter 30, verse 19. And this is the NIV version. And it says, people of Zion who live in Jerusalem, you keep, you will weep no more. How gracious he will be when you cry for help. <laughs> Woo! As soon as he hears. And when I read that, I promise you, I went to another cow. I went to another moon. I don't know where. <laughs> as soon as he hears, he will answer you. As soon as you cry out unto the Lord, he hears you and not just hears you, he's going to answer. He's going to Amen. answer. Hallelujah. So we're going to touch and agree with you tonight. Um, Prophet, you want to start off and then I'll, I'll come behind you or whatever you want to Yes, do. yes, yes. And Hallelujah. so we want to uh, just begin to worship him, just yes, begin God, to thank the Lord. Excited. He is so good. We thank God for being who he is in our life. Lord, we worship you tonight. We magnify you tonight, God, and we lift you up and we glorify you. And God, we say thank you, God. Thank you for all your many blessings that you bestowed upon us. Thank you, God, for salvation. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, for choosing us when we didn't think we was worthy. God, we lift you up tonight and we worship you. And God, we thank you for your glory. Thank you, God, for being a very present help in the time of trouble. Thank you, God, Lord, for delivering us, for setting us free through your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for all that he has done for us, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you. We glorify you tonight. And God, we thank and praise you for each and everyone that are watching tonight, even everyone that are present tonight that will come back and watch the replay. God, we thank you for them. And you know what they're in need of on tonight. We decree and declare, first of all, God, there will be a shift in their mind. There will be a transformation in their mind. They will no longer think the way that they used to think, God. In the name of Jesus, they will think on good things, edifying things, things that has praise and has virtue, God. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare tonight, God, that there will be a shift in their thinking. God, no more pity parties. God, no more thinking of the past. No more condemnation, God. No more thinking you done left them or forsake them. No more thinking, God, that things gonna always be this way, God. But we know there's a bad storm that don't ever change. But God, we thank you for a God that will uh, uh, do exceedingly above any thing that we can ask or think God I decree and declare we come into agreement tonight God that there will be a manifestation like never before God and that that you're doing you're doing it expediently God in the name of Jesus and even as Mary said blessed is she that believe for there shall be a performance of those things which Whoa. were told yes, her God. from the Lord and God I put them in remembrance <laughs> God of the things that you have spoken things that was prophesied over their life. God, delay does not mean denied. The length of time that it's been happening does not mean that you're not there. The length of time that you, they've been going through the long suffering in their bodies, in their mind, it seemed like God, they're about to break down, God. But I decree and declare that victory is already ours in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare tonight, God, that they will walk in their authority in the name of the power and the authority that you have given. I decree and declare, God, that we will capture every thought. Hey, God, that exalted itself above the knowledge of God, and we bring it into captivity to the obedience of Christ. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, God, that they will walk in, Lord, the last Adam, the identity of the last Adam, what Christ has already set them free. Whom you set free is free indeed. We're no longer bound. We no longer will be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Yes. But God, I thank you for the liberty yes. 
which yes. comes with responsibility, calls us to be responsible in the name of Jesus. God, we decree and declare, God, that every need shall be supplied. I decree and declare, God, that they begin to seek after you like never before. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, God, like never before. How to rightly divide your word, God. How to apply the word, God, into their daily lives. I decree and declare tonight, God, that they will rise up, God. Oh, Zion, rise rise up in the name of Jesus and take that rightful place yes. in the body of Christ. I thank you for purpose being revealed, God. Your purpose being revealed. I thank you, God, that we will no longer do things you didn't call us to do. God, but we will do that which you have called us to do. I thank you, God, that we will submit unto you, submit to one another in the name of Jesus. God, this we declare and decree tonight, God, that even when they lay down to rest tonight, not just sleep. They've been sleeping, but they haven't been resting. But God, I decree tonight, God, that they will rest, God, like a baby, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will minister to them like never before. I de We decree and declare tonight we come into agreement, God, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. God, that they're more than conquerors and overcomers through Christ Jesus. And God, we give you praise right now because victory is already ours. I thank you God, for causing and bringing manifest and witty inventions, God, and ideas, even in the midst of, of, of what's going on in the world today. I thank you for manifesting yourself, God. Lord, we thank you and we glorify you because you told us, let's go over to the other side. And God, we're shifting to the other side in our mindset, in our consciousness, God. Yes. We thank you, God, that your purpose is being revealed. And God, we thank you for another yes. yes. We thank Thank you for a yes deep down in our soul, in yes. our spirit, God, and yes. call us to rise up like never before to pursue and overtake and conquer in every, in every area, God, in all the world systems. I thank you because you're sending forth your sons in the world system. You told us to go and you sent them two by two. And I decree and declare today, God, that you're tearing down you uh, and, and setting up the righteous. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you that this setup, God, yeah. that you're doing in the lives of your people, it will not be broken down and it will not tear down, God. But we yes, thank you Lord. that it's built we on a firm foundation. We thank you that the yeah. foundation of this building that you are doing, God, is on the word of God. The Bible says that your word, not one jot or tittle yeah. of this word will ever fail or falter. So God, we thank you tonight that your people, hallelujah, will begin to embrace yeah. your word, God. Begin to embrace what you have said. God, the Bible says that you are not a man that you should lie, neither are you the son of man that you shall repent. What you have spoken, you are more than able to bring it to pass. And Father, we thank you tonight for faith arising in your people, faith arising in the hearts of your people, God, and begin to believe and to stand on your word, God, not being moved by what they are seeing, but God, knowing that they have a track record with you, that you have been faithful, that is promised. Every word that you that has come out of your mouth, the Bible says it will not return void, but it will do what you have sent it forth to do. Yes. So, Father, today I think of your people coming into a divine alignment with your word and saying and walking in what you have spoken. Father, we thank you today, Holly. We bind every spirit of delusion, every spirit of indecipherness, every yes. spirit that will cause them to walk away from the word of truth. But we pray today in the name of Jesus that the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of might, God, will be the uh, people of God's portion, that they will walk in your perfect and divine will in Jesus' name. Father, we even thank you, God, for their minds being transformed. Hallelujah, not being conformed to this world, but being transformed by the renewing of their minds, God. We think of their minds being renewed. God, the Bible says that a, a, a double-minded man can expect nothing of the Lord. But I thank you tonight that we are not that we're not double-minded. Oh, Shakan, da, da, da. we are not double-minded in our relationship with you. God, we are standing with an assurance of knowing that you are faithful. And God, we thank you today that we have made up our mind that we are going to be 
who you have called us to be. We will mm -hmm. not be in and out, up and down, but we decide today that the reset is over. God, we are pursuing you. Glory we're trying to move forward, God, and we're going to do everything that you've ordained for us to do. And when it concerns prayer in our communion with you, God, what a privilege and what an honor it is just to be in your presence, God, just to be in that place, God, of dwelling with you. God, the Bible says that he that abides under the shadow of the Almighty, I will say of the Lord that he is my refuge, he is my strength, he is my shield, and he is my buckler. Lord, I thank you tonight for your people embracing and loving that place in your presence, loving that place in the presence of the living God. Father, we pray tonight in the name of Jesus, for the spirit of the Lord stirring again, stirring again in the name of Jesus, stir God up the gift of God that is in us. So God, stir again our passion for the presence of God. Father, with loving kindness, Draw us again into that place with you. With loving kindness, oh God, bring us back to that place in worship and prayer where we are founded, Father. And we give your name praise and glory and honor for the work that you are doing. We expect to see, oh God, signs and wonders and miracles. We expect to see the hand of the Lord. We expect to see undeniable miracles. We expect to see life change and transform. We expect to see a move of God. Why? Because you are faithful that is promised. And you will do just what you said you would do. So, God, we pray tonight that every man and every woman of God that is on this line, that they, that they because they heard your word. The Bible mm -hmm. said that the entrance of your word brings light and bring revelation. We decree and declare tonight that they will never be the same. Amen. Make a conscious decision that they were going forward. And mm -hmm. Father, because of your word, they have made a they have they have taken on a change in that narrative. God, whatever was going on in their life, God, we think that the revelation of your word has changed the narrative in their life. That now they know. Ah, uh, now they know that God is with me and he hears me when I cry, and that he will not just hear me, but he will answer. And so, God, we thank Amen. you. We give you praise and glory and honor for what you're doing. And Father, I want to pray a special prayer over Prophet um, Pitts, Father, for her to coming and being on the line tonight. She could have yes, been doing anything else. Yes, sir. God, we thank you for the woman of God thank that you, and imparted truth in our lives tonight. God, we pray a continual blessing. Yes on her life and on her ministry. Father, we pray to e God, we pray Glory to God. Extend her borders, God, that you will that you will extend you, her borders. God, Father, put her in greater places, greater platforms. God, we thank you, God, for opening up doors. God, being the key, glory to God, being the glory. key of David's ah. life, Father, doors that yes. God opened for her, opportunity doors. Glory to God. God. Hallelujah. And shut, God. Oh, God, they won't say, how did Prophet Pitts get in this room? Because oh, it, David opened the door, God, and we thank yes, you Lord. for that, key, that door being open unto her that no man can shut. And God, we thank you yes, for closing Lord. doors. Oh, God. My soul, God. God. Closing doors, God. Yes, that Lord. look like opportunities of you, but they're really traps of the enemy. Traps from the enemy. God, we thank every every uh, evil plot, uh, evil plan of the enemy being spoiled today in the name of of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah for her steps being established. Amen. God, we even thank you, Lord God, for kingdom financiers, oh God, kingdom partners, oh God, that will come alongside her, God, and undergird her, undergird her in the ministry, undergird what you want to do in her ministry, Father. We decree and declare, Father, that her husband, her and her husband are blessed. And God, we will we release their names in the atmosphere. God, to be in the bed that uh, those that need uh that are looking for help in a certain area that they will know that that help is coming from, yes, uh, from the from the prophet father so we thank you god for prophet you, mary pitts god that you have called yes, her oh god into the nation father and we thank yes, you god for her name we release it into the yes, atmosphere yes, for that one that yes, needs Lord. to know god who, yes, went, yes, who is my help who is the one that will help me uh, god Yes, Lord. Her name being released. Lord, God, we Lord, raise Lord. it now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Even Bishop Apostle Lord, Lord, Lord. God, we thank you for the yes, man of God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. That Apostle of God sending him in. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I say for the apostle that you have sent in the earth is assignment, oh God. Oh God, yeah. to go greater. I think for doors being open for him. I think yeah. for that governmental anointing going into the places that he need to be. And I yeah. thank you, Father God, that even giving him favor as he walk in those doors. That yeah. never, every plot, every Haman, every yeah. Judas that would try to come and stop him won't be yeah. able to succeed. But because you open that door, God, she, he can go in and do what you've established yes, for the Thank man you, of God to do. So God, we pray the continual blessings and Thank favor you, and, oh God, over the Pitts family in the Thank name you, of Jesus, over the children and the Thank grandchildren. You, Cover them, oh God, you, in your Thank blood. You. Cover them, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you. Father, we ask that you would get the angels charged for them Thank as they Lord. dash their feet against the stone. God, yes, we Lord. bless you tonight we for what you, you are tonight. doing in the lives of your people. And we say Amen. that it is so, and it is, is done in Jesus' Jesus. mighty name oh, that we my God. have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. There's nothing like getting in that place. And when you know who you are in God, you can decree the word in confidence. And you can know that when I said it, I didn't say it of myself. I said it because the word of God said. The Bible says they that come to God must first believe that he is. And that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you can have a confidence. Now you go in and say, look, the word of God said this or that. And I stand on what he has said. Amen. Amen. And we Amen. believe God tonight. We want you on the line tonight to continue to be encouraged and strengthening your faith yes. in God to know that God has greater for you, that your best days, your blessed days are still ahead of you. Whatever's yes. going on, it does not matter. Hallelujah. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed even yes. in that. Amen. His Amen. power and his glory shall be re revealed even in that that amen Praise so we thank god. god tonight but prophet i love you with the love amen of thank, and you thank you so you. much i enjoyed this time with you amen. on tonight and with our audience uh communing together i tell amen. you uh, I just appreciate it. Like spirits, God just connected us. And like I've been knowing you all my life. <laughs> and uh, I just want to say thank you so much for inviting me uh, on uh, Kingdom Keys. And truly, it has been a, a tremendous blessing. And to God be the glory. And I just pray, pray blessings upon you, woman of God, and that your heart is so pure. And that the things that you have in your heart and the things that God promised, he has not forgotten. And I'm telling you, continue to be faithful, continue to uh, present yourself. And the thing about it is you just don't love God, but you love people. And so that is so, because people love God, but they don't like people, but you love people. You have compassion and you care and you want to help them. And uh, you know what? God is setting you up. And so I bless you tonight. I bless you. I bless your hands. I bless your work. I bless everything that God have placed in your hands to do. Praise God. I thank God for the resources. I thank him for uh, what the people and everything that you need uh, in order to fulfill that which God wants to uh, do in your life. So I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you dearly. And I just appreciate you so much. Likewise, amen. Well, I thank God so much for Prophet being on the line, amen. And we want to thank you for um, everybody everybody that was on the line tonight. We thank you for staying on, yes. amen. We thank God for the people of God that we see on the line, amen. We see leaders that are here. We see yes. people that are um, that hungry for the things of God. We just thank you for being a part of Covenant Keys and being a part of our Kingdom Keys Bible study, amen. And we're going to do a little shift, Apostle, I mean, Prophet, because I really feel like God is, is expanding us and doing so much. Yes. We want to make sure that we are being effective, not just, you know, not right. just doing things, but we want to be right. doing things and be effective in doing them. So that we have some changes that are going to be coming up, guys, in the, in the next few weeks. And as God begins to continue to give us clarity and understanding, we're definitely going to present those to you as well. But just keep Amen. us in prayer. Amen. So we thank God for you. Well, people of God, you know, this has been an awesome evening. Yes. As always, we, we thank God for our guest. Amen. She's not a guest. She's my sister. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Being on the line with I connected. <laughs> connected. I'm, on, I'm sorry. You ain't gonna make it now. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. Yes. Yes. Amen. But I tell the people of God this every every time we're on the line that God has given you the keys of the kingdom. 
and where their keys as access. Have Amen. a great day, and we'll see you on Tuesday morning by Amen. the grace of God. We're touching and agree in prayer at 730. I love you. Good night. All right. God bless. Good night.